what is up guys welcome back to another elden ring build video in today's build video i'm gonna be going over rolana's twin blades in elden ring guys i'm not gonna lie this weapon here rolana's twin blades they have been buffed big time recently elden ring had a patch and the twin blades for rolana they have gotten buffed like they are so freaking good man and i wanted to show you guys my build for rolana's twin blades in today's video i know that the build itself can be a bit tricky so i just wanted to go ahead and just show y'all like my little build on what i went with so if you do enjoy today's video be sure to leave a like and also if you're new subscribe for more Elden ring content here on the youtube channel well let's get straight into it all right so going over the weapon we have rolana's twin blades which are at plus 10 and it is a light great sword and a standard slash piercing weapon and as you can see its physical attack does 252 plus 63 so you can definitely make this more into a physical type of weapon more than going in for magic and fire but for me i wanted to go more for magic and fire more into intelligence and faith than going for strength and dexterity since i wanted to go for more into like the attribute scaling for intelligence and faith more instead of just going for strength and dexterity for this build here and this is ash ward moon and fire stance all right so as you can see i'm in the moon and fire stance so while in the moon and fire stance i have two ways to get attacks off if i want to go if i want to like do more intelligence i'll go for basically the light button and i'll get some intelligence like blast going off this is what it looks like again and all you gotta do is just press right bumper and just keep on pressing it to get some light attacks off now if you go for heavy you'll be able to get the fire which looks so awesome. I, I like the fire. It's my favorite run since I went to go for more into like faith more than intelligence. But you can definitely go for more intelligence if you want to. But hey, I want to go for more into the fire because the fire just looks really awesome. Now the attributes required to hold the weapon, you have to have a strength of 13, a dexterity has to be a 16, intelligence has to be a 16 as well, and faith has to be a 16. Now the scaling for it is that they're all at C. All of them are at C. Strength, intelligence, dexterity, and faith, all C. Which you can definitely do anything you want to. You can make it a strength and dexterity build. If you want to go that route, you definitely can go that route. Or you can make it an intelligence faith build, which is what I went with. But I went more into faith than intelligence, just to get more out of faith instead of going for intelligence more. So it is up to you, whichever route you wanna go with, you take that route. Now I'm taking the Urchi Seal. Now the reason I'm taking the Urchi Seal is to use Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength. Now I could have gone for Hala Shibiri, but I didn't wanna go for Hala Shibiri. I feel like I use it too much, so I wanna go with Flame Grant Me Strength. And it works out fine with Flame Grant Me Strength in my opinion. But I mean, if you wanna go for Hala Shibiri, you can go for Hala Shibiri and you can call it a day if you want to. Use Hala Shibiri and Golden Vow and you'll be set. And also the Urchi Seal itself, it has uh, NK scaling of 353 and plus I'm going more into Faith so it'll have an s tier scaling of faith so it's honestly a really good choice if you're wanting to take this build okay so going over my armor i wanted to go for the navy hood i also went with rolana's armor now i could switch the navy hood out and go for rolana's helm which to make the whole look look really good i mean i'm fine with it honestly i can you can go with the rolana helm or the navy hood i went with the navy hood just to make it for cosplay reasons but i feel like with the rolana's helm it does make it a really good like match for this build honestly so if you want to go for the full set for Rolana, you can definitely go for the full set okay so for talismans i'm taking shard of alexander to really raise the attack power of all skills so mainly the action war itself i'm also taking Rolana's cameo it enhances attacks executed after maintaining the same stance for a while so i'm using the fire and moon stance and i'll be using that for a while too so i'll basically get a bit of an uh, enhanced attacks or whatnot like a bit of a buff in a way uh just from standing in the stance i'm also taking a fire scorpion charm to raise the fire attacks but it also lowers the damage negation so i'm just using it to raise more on the fire side for Rolana than going for the intelligence because i'm going to be using more of the faith side so more of the fire so i'm definitely going to be taking the fire scorpion charm and i'm also taking ron wing sword insignia to greatly raise the attack power with successful attacks since i'm going to be doing a lot of attacks with this weapon too even if you're not using like the fire stance you can definitely get more attack damage uh without using the fire fire and moon stance really so for the flask of wonders physic i'm taking the magic shroud and crack tier and i'm also taking the flame shroud and crack tier and the reason i'm taking both of those is because i'm going to be boosting mainly the magic and the fire coming from the swords themselves so from the fire and moon stance i'll be boosting those big time so that's why i'm taking both of these but like i said you don't have to go with these two you can switch them out if you want to uh there's also the blood second crack tier which does really well with this build as well and there's also the thorny crack tier which makes consecutive attacks grow stronger in a mixed physic so if you're going for more into the dex route for this weapon definitely will recommend taking the thorny crack tier since it will make your consecutive attacks grow stronger 
if you're going more into like the dex and strength route and not using like the ash of war at all you can definitely take the thorny craft here and there's also the green burst crystals here which temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed since you will be using a lot of stamina with this build uh so if you want to take the green burst here you can definitely take it too all right so for the great rune uh, i recommend really to take rudan's great rune as it will increase your fp hp and stamina you can also take godric's great rune to raise all attributes i just say rudan's is still better honestly so i just say take rudan's great rune uh, just so you can raise your maximum hp fp and stamina
all right guys so if you're looking for a level 200 build for this build here's what i recommend for a level 200 so for vigor i would put vigor at 50 since you will be needing vigor a lot a lot of vigor really if you're facing like bosses that are in the dlc too so if you want to push out to 60 you can later on that, that's just up to you i'll say 50 vigor uh for mind i would go 30 mind honestly because you will be using a bit of the ash of war from the faith side of things because you're going to be using more of the fire damage and a bit of the intelligence too endurance can go to 30 now you can push this up a little bit more if you want to just to get heavier armor if you're wanting to wear heavier armor then you have to push it up a little bit more but 30 endurance is honestly okay strength and dexterity i will put strength around 13 and dexterity at 16 that's just the requirement to hold weapon so just put strength at 13 and dexterity at 16 and you'll be fine for intelligence i'll put intelligence at 50 that way you will be able to use a bit of the intelligence side of things but i'm not trying to go fully into intelligence with this weapon I'm trying to go more into the faith side of things with this weapon. For faith, I would have 80 faith since I will be using more of the fire attacks with the weapon and faith itself will be better. So I would pretty much go to 80 faith. That way you'll be able to use the full potential with the fire attacks of this weapon. But there you guys have it. That's going to do it for today's video on Rolana's Twin Blades. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think about the Rolana's Twin Blades and subscribe if you're new for more Elden Ring content here on the YouTube channel. We are at 12,500 subscribers, guys we're so close to 13,000 subscribers hopefully we can hit 13,000 subscribers with these and maybe hit the 100,000 subscribers here in the future but i appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me for my videos thank y'all so much for the support and hopefully this channel grows to be a very very big and successful channel but yeah guys with that being said i'm game raptor stay well with the pack i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys peace out